Hello from Grandview Grain and Livestock. This is Greg Christensen. And I was up here. I wanted to show you a little more up close on this water bank and uh, how we water four paddocks in this 25 acre pasture split into four, four paddocks. And then we can subdivide those with step in post uh, and poly wire going across it. But our, our tire tanks here, um, if you're watering with tire tanks, if you're watering goats and even sheep, um, of course you're gonna need, we set these blocks down so these sheep can come up and they can walk up those blocks and get a drink. Uh, and if you're going to have, we don't have to right now, it's bad, but if you're going to have lambs or, or kid goats in here, born, and even uh, on up until they're, you know, uh, 60 pounds probably, you're going to want to put some cement blocks down in the tank because they will get down in there and not be able to get out and drown. Um, trust me on this. Uh, so you're going to put, want to put something down in there that they can crawl up on and get out of. As soon as we did that, we stopped having a problem. Now in our tanks, we were having the cattle jump in them and, and bust up the uh, valves and the float and the pipe. So I put these, I guess, protectors, but they're also insulated uh, plywood over the top that protects the, uh, the pipe and the float, the valve. Um, the cattle can't jump in there. And it also helps keep uh, kids and lambs from falling off in, into there too. Um, and then you'll want to put a, a board here in the front because any lamb that falls down in there or kid goat He's going to get underneath that board, not be able to get out, and then he's going to drown. And so we've done that. Uh, underneath this board is uh, some two-inch inch insulating styrofoam board that will keep that. It'll keep that uh, from freezing up. It'll get pretty cold. But we also have overflow valves inside there. So if it's going to be, let's say, uh, 15 or 20 degrees and stay consistently cold for a few days, even just a couple of days. We'll turn those overflow valves on and they'll just spit out a little bit of water, keep it circulating down inside this open part. And there's a, an overflow pipe in there and it'll carry it on out away from the tank <coughs> and keep the, uh, the tank from freezing up for you. Uh, don't do like I do. I've, Sometimes I don't get them turned on. I think, oh, well, they'll be okay. And then we're coming down here, we're sticking our arm in there when it's uh, an iceberg and that's not very fun. Um, now here, for gates on this uh, water bank, I've got electric bungee cord and it's just pulled across there. Now that's good enough for cattle. Of course, it's not good enough for sheep or goats. And so we'll be uh, putting in a better gate system. Uh, we haven't used these for goats uh, well, or sheep, but we plan on it this spring. And so we'll be putting in a better, better gate here. I've got a couple ideas. And I'll let you in on those if they work or even if they don't. So just wanted to show you, oh, and these tire tanks. Let me just... Uh, tell you how we did those real quick. In the bottom of them, we didn't pour concrete. Um, a friend of mine had done quite a few of them and he showed me you really don't need concrete in them. We put uh, bentonite down in the bottom and you know, it doesn't even take a, a full bag. I put a full bag in them and I ended up taking a, quite a little bit out. But you just seal around the bottom bead where it meets the ground 
and you fill that up with bentonite and you turn the water on just let it soak in soak in and, and uh, you know they've been fine and what that does then if you know if you get a problem down there pipe breaks if the cattle did jump in on it and break it like they did this one right off the bat uh, before I had the cover on it you can dig down to that bentonite you can fix your pipe put it all back together put some more bentonite around it and uh, I mean, honestly, I, if they leak, I can't tell it. Um, they've been here for, well, since about 2015. And, you know, they're still working, still good. We've not had any problem with them. Um, so, yeah, whenever I put new ones in now, I just I put the bentonite in there. You put concrete in there, and then if it cracks or breaks away, it's going to start leaking. If you get a broken pipe down in there you can you really can't do anything about it you got to bust the concrete get down to it fix the pipe and um, you know if I was going to do that I'd just put bentonite back in it but uh, just use bentonite folks and th these tires um, you know these were not your big earth moving type tires uh, some of them I just used combine tires I had around old combine tires uh, rice and cane combine tires we didn't use anymore um, if the cattle are close enough to the water which here they are if they're within I think it's uh, Jim Gary says 900 feet these will never get that far away from water they'll just come up to drink two or three or four at a time you don't need as big of an opening you don't need as big of a, a water supply um, I ran two inch pipe it comes from my pond that is uh, down there still past the house. That's our house you can see and the pond's on down there. And we ran about 3,000 foot of water line and have four of these tanks that uh, come away that that pump pumps water to. So just use bentonite. I, I wouldn't use concrete. And these tire tanks will work real well for you. It's Greg Christensen. Thanks for watching. If it's uh, if you like it, well, hit subscribe. Thank you.